a lot of times music starts as an idea, a concept that you're hearing, that you're experiencing, a melodic idea, a harmonic idea, certain kinds of ideas of meter or rhythm. And uh, in this piece, all of that is kind of uh, put by the wayside. And this is an investigation of what if, what would the, uh, the star map above us sound like if it could be translated kind of systematically and without uh, the will to make it a sound a certain way. You know, it's just a kind of a systemic kind of exploration of the world around us. So uh, that's something I would say kind of makes it more of an audio art project than strictly like a musical composition. The idea stems from John Cage. John Cage composed a few pieces using star charts. Um, I really like the concept. John Cage wants to have music that is free of artistic expression. Um, essentially, whatever is composed by nature is how he wants to remain, and he wants to just bring that forth to the world. Um, it's a similar idea with this disc. I took the idea of the star chart, and I picked a specific date, which is January 1st, 2011, at midnight, and the location is actually Mar Archives at the, at the library. Once I had the date and the location picked, I actually went online and I started looking at different computer-generated programs that, that were able to generate mathematical star maps. And once I had that image, I, I took it, I printed it off, and got the actual locations of the stars from that and drew a, a CAD file, a computer drafting. And then I took that computer drafting and, sh and shipped it off to a company called FedTech. Um, FedTech is a company that does custom projects, um, primarily using laser cutting, water jet, that sort of thing. And I was able to specify the thickness of sheet metal that I wanted um, along with the file and have them actually use water jet to cut out a disc. The class is a two semester course and we look at uh, audio art which is uh, technology and the history of audio recording technologies. In the class students are doing uh, intensive research and writing research papers but they're also creating uh, new works, applying these ideas and things from this history and uh, from what other uh, concepts from what artists have done, sometimes antiquated technologies like in, in this piece, but applying them in fresh and uh, creative ways.